What's up, y'all? It's Calvin here, and I want to holler at you guys about the Andrew Wiggins situation. And for those of you who are not familiar with that, he is a player in the NBA who is basically coerced in front of everybody to get the vaccine. Now, ultimately, it was his choice to take it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not excusing the brother for that. But it's just the whole thing that, you know, whether he wanted the shot or not, he should be able to still play basketball the same way that you should be able to go to work, you know what I'm saying, regardless of you getting a shot or not. Because we live in a country where you have the right to accept or deny any medical procedure and getting a vaccine that is a medical procedure all right and uh so you know it should go right uh, along the lines of your body your choice just like abortion or anything else that you want to do in the medical field you have the choice but yet we have basketball players who are not even from america named enos Cantor. Uh, i think he's from like turkey and if i'm not mistaken he's not even on good terms with his country which makes it very, very obvious of why they're using this guy because they got leverage over him. They can just deport him if he doesn't do what they say. And they got him trying to speak against, um, what's his name, uh, James, the uh, basketball player, um, because of his comments about the vaccine. And he didn't say anything bad. It was just basically that, you know what I'm saying, people have the choice to choose what they want to do. He took the vaccine. And, you know, people just have the choice to do what they want to do. And that that is fair. That's right. That's what uh, America is. But yet that's not what's happening. And so because that is, I am going to boycott the NBA this season. I will not be watching. And I hope that you guys would also join me because it's the vaccine situation right now. You know what I'm saying? The next thing that they roll out, the people who wanted to get the vaccine, you might not like what that is. And when that happens, you are going to want your rights to be respected, so on and so forth. And so it's high time that you start respecting other people's rights now that maybe not agree with you. You know what I'm saying? So um, just wanted to put that out there for anybody that is interested. And I think this is a righteous move, you know what I'm saying, to not uh, allow these people to continue to treat us this way. Because if we don't stop this as adults, they will target the children at will. And there's been so many agendas that they've pushed that they've already shown us this. So this should not be anything new to us. It's just going to be up to us to activate the choices that we have and just choose to stand. And this is a nonviolent way. You don't have to do much. Just simply instead of watching an NBA game, put that energy towards something else. Maybe something that's going to benefit you and your family and help you build your empire instead of building the empire of wicked people who treat folks unjustly and unfairly. You know what I'm saying? So it's always going to be up to us when it comes to that choice. Okay? So I hope this resonates with you guys. This is the Pod Rose. Shine sweet freedom. Shine your light on me.